Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. It's finally time to review the Gun Goose Gambit. I swear this has been in the pipeline for so long. I feel like I've seen these images for like over a year now. It's not been that long but it just feels like the wait has been extraordinary. All the footage today was provided by Halo Collector. He was able to supply me with these images and videos early and I'm so grateful for that. If you could check out the Facebook group Halo Collector, it's the number one one place on the internet to talk Halo collecting, not just MCX2. And I know you guys have been looking forward to hearing my thoughts on the Gun Goose Gambit. I can't wait to get this in hand personally, but just by looking at this video, I can tell like this is one of the best sets this year. It's one of the best sets Mega's ever really made. And it's the third in the iteration of vehicle and four figure set. Spring of last year saw the recon getaway in full release. And after that, in the fall of last year, the hijacked ghost, two beautiful Halo Infinite sets. In the fall of this year, we have the Ghost of Requiem set based on Halo 4, and this spring we have the Gun Goose Gambit. I really love the affordable $20 price tag on this. It's really just such good value for money. All of them are a vehicle and four figures, including a brand new Commando rifle, loads of new molds on the Jackal Sniper. Like, it's it's a dream set. It really is. And the Gun Goose is also something that I'm looking forward to adding to my collection personally. All of these figures really like. It is a quality build. We've got a look at the Gun Goose first. We're starting with the vehicle and really this impresses me. It's not got that many different pieces and iterations from either the Recon Getaway or the previous Gun Gooses. But then again, there's not much you can really iterate on or reinvent when it is such a small vehicle. I love the color scheme with this, a darker green to the classic Halo Infinite vehicles we've been getting in line with the Razorback. And we've got to compare it to the other Gun Gooses, Gun Geese, Gun Guy that came before we've had quite a few and they've all been pretty dope sets. The first one we ever got was with Noble Six. That was a legendary vehicle. And then we also had one here, a desert version and one that came with a shade turret. And all of them were slightly different. This one is a bit of a mix mash of all three, including, like I said, a lot of pieces that were reused from the Recon Getaway. I mean, the Halo Infinite Mongoose and the Gun Goose are so similar. It makes sense that a lot of the pieces are reused. The pieces that stand out for me are the ones that contrast with the dark green color, for example, the rods that hold together the wheels and the actual little circle discs on the guns at the front. It's really just a solid build and you couldn't ask for much else from this set. There's no printed detailing, but there are some speckly sort of blended effects on the different green pieces, which I like. And the dark green and black sort of gives it that uh, jungle, that sort of reconnaissance feel to it. And I really do enjoy that. I know a lot of you guys in the community want sort of spec ops vehicles and figures to return. We did get some spec ops style figures in the Banished Garrison pack. And this Gun Goose just hits right. It's got a lot of of room to position two figures on and a lot of ways they can hold on to the vehicle and it also boasts that really nice suspension that we've got in the previous mongoose where you can tilt the wheels back and forth on a sort of ball joint that locks into the middle of the vehicle i really like it and this set like many of the previous releases has a two-in-one build feature one that i will actually take uh, advantage of i want more than one of this gun goose and the two-in-one build is so simple and that turret will look really great in dioramas i love Love how they utilize the Gun Goose turret as an actual defensive position. Really creative there. And the four figures, I mean, we've been, I don't know, we've just looked at these four figures in awe and wonder for a long time. The Marine is great, although it doesn't include many shoulder or knee accessories. So I'm going to more focus on the banished figures because they are what we got to talk about. But in saying that, we will take a look at the Marine first. It is a pretty basic Marine, and Mega Constructs have been focusing on reiterating reimagining the UNSC Marine, basically because it comes in so many sets. The thing people are most excited about, of course, is the helmet. We've seen this Romeo-style helmet appear in the Halo Hero Series 12 Marine Sniper, and before that, the Halo Heroes Romeo. This Marine, compared to the Marine Sniper, the helmet does have a little uh, less painted detailing, particularly on the top of the helmet, but it is still nice. I love the exposed arm skin tone on this figure. Like, it is nice to have some exposed skin instead Instead of just some backwash like jumpsuit. The rest of the armor is pretty basic. The feet are on the new swivel joint and the Marine's height has been adjusted to the new Marine height that is more compatible with the basic figures and also isn't taller than Spartans because people didn't really like that.
that. This Marine does come with the brand new molded Commando Rifle. The product imaging for this set was the first time we saw the new Commando Rifle. It is also with the Halo Universe Series 1 blind bags, and it is a great addition to this set. I really do hope that Mega continues to release new weapons. I mean, we haven't got that many, and I'll mention that the Jackal Sniper in this set does just come with a carbine, which does seem a bit weird considering that's not in Halo Infinite. But this Jackal Sniper, good golly is it a good figure. The first new articulation Jackal Sniper we've got, we only had an old articulation one and it was in the Scarab of all sets, so not very obtainable. Really great to see this in a new release and also those arm blade attachments, man. So much better than the original Jackal that came out last year. So, so detailed. I love it. The Jackal did come out in the Warthog Rally a year or so ago and it didn't really have many accessories to it, though it did have the hole in the head so we knew knew we were always going to get a Jackal Sniper. The frills on this look great. The undersuit, like his actual chest, is a different toned blue to the actual armor. I think the new mold Jackals are actually some of the best things to come out of the new Mega Constructs wave. Like, I really enjoyed the Jackal Freebooter in Halo Heroes, and it's great to see this one so padded out with armor, with that really great mask. I would have liked some painted detail on the mask, particularly his eye holes, but since we got the Jackal Sniper back in Halo Infinite, I've just been waiting. I've been waiting and wondering when are we going to get this figure. Finally, it's in the Gun Goose, and I really hope the Jackal Sniper doesn't just have a limited release. I, I only really want to buy two of these Gun Geese, and I would like to get way more of this Jackal Sniper, so I'm hoping that it comes in a blind bag in the future. Maybe a Jackal Sniper in Halo Heroes, though that's not likely since we got a Jackal in Halo Heroes Series 14. But anyway, it is a quality figure, and so is this Brute Warrior. We've had a lot of Brutes recently. Obviously, the Brutes are like the main core focus of the Banished, so it's really great to see them get all this love from Mega. We had the Brutes in the Banished Garrison pack, including a Brute Warrior that's very similar to this one in red. This one, though, I, I kind of like that blue. I love Banished Red, but this blue feels like more Covenant, and it's great to have both. It's great to have a mix of colors in your Banished inventory, and I especially like, again, like the Marine, he has different exposed skin tones to his actual jumpsuit, which takes up his chest, his legs, and half of his arms. The exposed skin, it's, it's kind of a different color to his actual face, and I have said before, I think it's time we lose the Craig head mold. I would rather future sets have a more Banished head head mold like the original Halo Wars 2 Brute. Uh, I think this Craig's a little too goofy for now. And we also have the Craig mold in the Brute Captain. And we've had many Brute Captains in the past. They are not a new thing, even going back to Halo 3's days. So it's really great to see there are some new elements to this one, new shoulders. And this Brute Captain, while a little basic, uh, it's still great. Look, you can't ask for that much when you're talking about a $20 set. Like, obviously, I would love all my Banished to have things like Banished logos on their armor, or at least some detailing like we can see in, say, the Brute Warrior that comes with the Master Chief 2-pack. This one is a little less detailed, but yeah, at the same time, it's a $20 set, and his exposed skin is only on his hands. Compared to the other figures in this set, I would say the top one is the Jackal Sniper. The Marine is really great, and the two Brutes also quality figures. Like, again, I want to reiterate, $20. Look at that Gun Goose. I would pay a good $15 for that Gun Goose with one figure. $20 for a Gun Goose with four figures is great value for money, in my opinion. And I would love to know your opinion on the quality of this set, on the quality of the price in the comments down below, and whether you've been able to bag this so far. For anyone in the USA worrying about distribution, I don't think it's a concern. This will be a very well distributed set in all Walmarts and Targets very soon. I imagine it's going to get a great release and Mega will have pushed for good distribution. There's a reason this set probably should have come out a couple of months ago. There have been worldwide support supply chain issues, but I think Mega is bagging on this one to be a really well distributed set. I hope you enjoyed this quick preview, and once I do get my hands on this personally, I'll make a second review. But right now, I really want to thank Halo Collector for all the support and for getting me this footage. It really does mean a lot, and it does mean a lot for me to be able to get the review out early to my fans, because I know you guys have really been looking forward to seeing up close and personal videos of this and hearing my opinions. So as always, this was another video with the domain. Let me know in the comments down below what you do think of this set. I think it's genuinely one of the best value sets we've ever got. It might be the best four-figure one vehicle set we've ever got, and that Jackal Sniper, it, it just, the Jackal Sniper takes it to, like, a top 10 out of 10 for me. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks, and the domain is signing off. See you next time.